to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Monday, November 14th of 2022, the Ministry of Public Health reported 130 new coronavirus infections last weekend, with 323 active cases and a daily positivity rate of 2.82%, and in the last four weeks at 1.14%. The Dominican Republic is at high peak of dengue spread, with an increase of 240% in cases compared to last year and that half doubled. With regard to malaria, seven cases were confirmed, of which four correspond to the fossil detected in San Juan de la Maguana, two imported from Africa and one from Aswa. The architect and urban planner Marcos Barinas Uribe considers that the city of Santo Domingo is flooded because we have several decades of negligence with the issue of drainage systems. Not only the rain, which was the protagonist of the copious rains and urban floods last Friday, November 4, but also the sanitary one, which somehow should always be given priority. The execution of a presidential decree that provides for the creation of a specialized unit in the National Police for the prevention and prosecution of invasions and irregular occupations of private property and the state would encounter some difficulties since it seems to have friction with the Constitution by not taking into account the public ministry, the body of the justice system responsible for the formulation and implementation of the state's policy against it. The General Direction of Penitentiary and Correctional Services, the National Council for HIV and AIDS, and the National Health Service will initiate a health intervention program for the detection and care of infectious and sexually transmitted diseases in 14 prisons in the country. The temporary departure of the two plants of the Punta Catalina Thermoelectric Power Plant creates a new financial pressure on the cost of electricity generation in the country, because together with ICE, Andres, and other units, they forced to change the use of cheap fuels for more expensive ones, so that the population is not affected by blackouts. For this and more information, you can visit listingdiario.com for Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.